Way down south in the United States, NASA's human spaceflight centers are in the midst of a once-in-a-generation transformation. From Florida to Texas, five NASA facilities have designed, built, and flown rockets for more than half a century. Since the space shuttles retired in 2011, NASA has now been working on a new rocket called the Space Launch System and a crew capsule called Orion. They are part of a plan to send humans beyond low Earth orbit for the first time since 1972. To see how these rockets and spacecraft are coming along, the Planetary Society went on a road trip. Now you're invited to join me, Jason Davis, and Casey Dreyer, our Director of Space Policy, as we embark on a 10-day, 450-mile journey throughout the South. So, fuel up and prepare to launch, because we're heading out on a rocket road trip. We began our trip at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Every astronaut to launch from American soil began their journey here. In NASA's Neil Armstrong Operations and Checkout Building, we caught up with the Orion capsule that will go on a test flight in 2018. We're going to go see the actual flight hardware for the first flight of Orion on top of a Space Launch System rocket. It's still not much more than a pressure vessel at this point, but in two years it will go on a three-week shakedown cruise around the moon to make sure it's ready to carry astronauts. Our timing couldn't have been better. While we were at Kennedy Space Center, we were able to watch the launch of OSIRIS-REx, a spacecraft headed to an asteroid to collect a sample and bring it back to Earth. Our expedition is just beginning. In part two of our series, we're heading straight to Alabama to check in on the space launch system. Stay tuned for more from our rocket road trip. If you want to dig deeper into NASA's human spaceflight program, be sure to visit planetary.org slash horizon goal. There, you can read our multi-part story series on space policy and rocket science.